Number 20. Emolga. This cute little flying rat-like thingy is too cute to be based on a bat. Instead, it is based on a flying squirrel. In real life, the squirrel couldn't really fly, but what it does is glide through the sky like flying with a hang glider. So the squirrel would stretch the parachute like membranes on its sides, which stretches from its wrist to its ankle, and would use its fluffy tail to stabilize the short glide. Number 19. Manafi and Fione. They're both blue, both flamboyant, and both are mostly water. They're based off the sea angels. They are a type of swimming sea slug. The sea angels developed wing-like flapping appendages and does not have a shell. The wings allow them to swim much faster than their prey which are the sea butterflies. Number 18. Shellas. It is based off another sea slug, which is the Chromodorus loki. The Chromodorus loki is either blue or bluish white. Each individual slug can reach to at least 4 cm in length. Their main food are sponges. No, not synthetic sponges. Sponges. Number 17. Zigzagoon. They are definitely inspired by the raccoon. The cute black burglar-like mask on the face is just like the real thing. The only difference is the zigzag pattern of its fur and its bigger looking paws compared to a normal raccoon. Number 16. Magikarp. They look a lot like the yellow eye rockfish. The rockfish have been declared overfished because of their prized meat and it could grow to a maximum length of 36 inches. But the whiskers on the Magikarp are most definitely from the koi fish as its Japanese name is koi king. Number 15. Sanshu. In my point of view, it looks like an alien dinosaur but its real life counterpart is definitely a pangolin. With its shiny hard armor made of keratin, that could also be found in human fingernails and hair, just like an armadillo, it can curl up into a ball when threatened, and would then emit a nauseous smelling acid just like a skunk. Number 14. Love Disc. Another fish, and this one looks like a heart. It is based off the kissing gorami. The gorami has lips that look like it's ready for a kiss all the time. You might be tempted to kiss it, but you might not like it as the lips are lined with horny teeth. Number 13. Kabuto. They resemble the giant isopod and the woodlouse. Apparently, they are a very long distant cousin to each other. Their bodies are protected by a rigid exoskeleton composed of overlapping segments that they can curl up into a ball as a defense mechanism. Number 12. File plume. It looks like a cute flower, but its real-life counterpart is the Rafflesia arnoldi. The Rafflesia arnoldi is one of the largest carnivorous flower in the world. The other name for the flower is corpse flower. This is because its color and smell resembles rotting flesh, which is used to attract flies for it to eat. Number 11. Victory Bell. It is based on another carnivorous plant called the pitcher plant. The pitcher plant has an intricate trap system to trap unsuspecting insects inside its hollow tube that either has downward pointing hairs or even waxy scales to stop insects from escaping. Finally, the plant eats the insect by melting it and absorbing it for nutrients. Bonus Pokemon Trubbish It is seriously just an overflowing bag of rubbish. Number 10. Crocodile This one is pretty obvious. Unless you are not familiar with the English language, this Pokemon is based off the crocodile. Specifically a crocodile called the Gariel. The Gariel are native to the northern part of India. It has a long and thin snout that is well adapted for catching fish. Number 9. Mudkip. It's very cute and it resembles the axolotl. The axolotl is a salamander that as they grow would get stuck in its larva stage and never grow into a full adult. They also have a very good regenerating ability that they could regrow any part of their body if they for whatever reason get amputated with a full functioning new part. Number 8. Charmander. My first thought when I saw Charmander was it looks weird. Probably because I find the animal it's based off on, which is the salamander, looks exceptionally weird as well. It's very apparent that it looks like a salamander from its smooth roundish head and that white slight grin they seem to have. Number 7. Drowsy. I've talked about this Pokemon in one of my yokai video and it resembles the Malayan Tapir. Though it looks like a Tapir, the Tapir does not walk on two legs like Drowsy. It would be scary if it did, 
with a face that some might say cute, but I will forever associate the tapir with a nightmare because of the yokai. Number 6. Caterpie just from the name and the looks, we know it is based off a caterpillar, but specifically, it is based on the eastern tiger swallowtail caterpillar. The real thing does not have eyes. Rather, the thing that looks like eyes is just a pattern on the caterpillar's body. Number 5. Executor. This is another Pokemon that I've talked about in one of my yokai video, but if you look closely at its design, it looks a lot like a coconut tree. Look, I mean... Look at that uncanny resemblance. Number 4. Gorabis. A very cute water-type Pokemon with purple seashells that reminds me of mermaids. Its real-life counterpart, which looks creepy rather than cute, is the long-nosed Chimera. Often mistaken for the long-nosed shark because, guessed it, the long nose, but the shark is mostly 3 to 4 meter long, while the Chimera is mostly around 0 0.6 to 1.4 meter long. Number 3. Polywag. They are inspired by the translucent tadpoles. The swirls on its belly is its innards showing through. The same as Polywag, if you read some of its Pokedex entries, it actually says that it is possible to see the Pokemon's spiral innards right through the skin. I'm now quite confused whether I find it cute or not anymore. Number 2. Monkey, as you can see, would be based on monkeys, but the white fur and the reddish face, that is specifically based on the Japanese macaque. Do you know those monkeys in anime that like to bathe in the hot springs? Those are the Japanese macaques. Finally, number one, Kangas Khan. Why they chose a name that sounds similar to Genghis Khan for a kangaroo-like Pokemon, I do not know. But I do know that in earlier design, the baby Kangaskhan should be able to evolve to either a Cubone or a bigger Kangaskhan. For it to evolve into a Cubone, the bigger Kangaskhan would have to die, and then the baby Kangaskhan would take the skull and wear it on its head, just like how the current Cubone would be.